G'day guys, and welcome to More Dirt, Less Bitumen. In this, our very first episode, you get to meet us. That's Matt, Mez, and our dog Ernie, as we sneak off for a cheeky midweek adventure. After an early start, we make our way to Kilcoy for Smoko, visit an old sawmill, get turned back at an 03 road, crash a drone, visit a lookout before setting up camp beside the mighty Mary River at Kenilworth. G'day guys, how you going? I'm Matt. I'm Marianne, more commonly known as Mez. And together we're More Dirt, Less Bitumen. We've just left Brisbane this morning. We're up here at Mount Glorious and uh, we've just had ourselves a lovely breakfast. And we've got a couple of days on the road. We're gonna be heading through Conondale National Park and spending the night at Kenilworth tonight. More than likely we'll sneak into the Kenilworth Bakery for the Kilo Donut Challenge but I'm not too sure if we'll give yeah, that a go. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> uh, so yeah, spending the night at Kenilworth, then tomorrow we're going to be heading up through Imble State Forest and Amamore State Forest before spending the night in Amamore and heading back down to the coast and making our way back to Brisbane. So strap in, buckle up. We hope you uh, enjoy what, uh, what we've got planned over the next couple of days. Cheers. Bye. Well, we just left Kilcoy where we had some coffee and cake and some tea and scones, which was delicious. That was at the Lookout Cafe. And now we're back on the road and in search of some dirt tracks. Good news, left the bitumen behind. We've now got dirt under the tyres. We've got a driver swap. Mez has now taken the wheel as we uh, head further north uh, towards our destination of Kenilworth. Let's go. driven north of Kilcoy and we're at this Belthorpe Conservation Park and what do you know we found some historic ruins which is kind of my thing I love ye oldy stuff so I was pretty excited to come across this so it's the old Brandon Mill site and there's some remnants of the gantry and some other old engineering bits and pieces around there's a crane and an old saw which is pretty cool not a bad place to stumble upon After leaving the sawmill, we've, uh, we're on our way to, to Jimna, but a track off to the right caught our attention. Uh, looked the track less travelled, so we decided to take it. It was South Goods Road and uh, took us through some nice pine trees and plenty of palms, quite, over, quite overgrown in some places, plenty of uh, nice red clay. It rated as a dry weather only track, so uh, glad that these green clouds above us at the moment aren't aren't uh, oh, hat down, hat down. <laughs> uh, aren't dropping any moisture on us at the moment so we're on our way to Peter's Cascades uh, hopefully we can have some lunch there because I'm starting to get a little bit peckish but it's a nice drive here at the moment we've just come down South Goods Road and we've got a problem So it looks like we're doing a U-turn, heading back down South Goods Road. I must admit, we're probably gonna have to stop because I am getting hungry. And then, yeah, once we get into Jimna, we'll uh, head down Sunday Creek Road and hopefully get to Peter's Cascades a bit later in the afternoon. Anyway, back to the car.
So hunger got the better of me. We've pulled off from the side of the road. We're underneath the pine trees. And when we're on the road, we like to keep things pretty simple. So yesterday, Naz went and made us some nice salads for lunch. I roasted a chicken the other day. So now it's just a matter of uh, throwing them in a bowl, get a little bit fancy with a little bit of balsamic vinegar, <laughs> and uh, then it's uh, time to eat. Not bad for a knock-up meal in the scrub, if you ask me. Just done myself a bit of a mischief. We were just setting up for a drone shot. Lovely little creek, little bridge. I was gonna do a little flyby. It was gonna look great. But then I put the drone in the tree. No more drone. Uh-oh. Righto, so we've just finished the track. We're back out on the bitumen here. We're just about up to Jimna, uh, having a quick break, and I thought I'd reassess or assess the damage to the drone, and it's not good. Uh, we have a gimbal that is literally hanging by a thread. Um, there is wires coming out of places where I didn't even know there was wires. Um, we've got cracks in the arms of that one. We've got major cracks in the arms of that one, and. I'm pretty sure this one is now uh, yeah, past its use by date. Uh, time for a new one. What a shame. What a shame. Uh, wonder if Mr. Insurance will cover that one. We'll soon find out. Well, after a quick foray onto the bitumen, we're back onto the dirt again and we're in Conondale National Park and headed for Kenilworth. We're going to try and find somewhere to camp for the night. We probably aren't going to have time to get to Peter's Creek, which um, I'm envisioning in my head is full of delicious sweet ice cream, but apparently that's not the case. And we'll uh, see if we can't find somewhere nice to pull up the truck for the night and roll out the swag. Big day today, after leaving Brizzy just after five this morning, we found ourselves on the banks of the Mary River at Kenilworth Camping, about five minutes outside of Kenilworth. We've got ourselves a primo little spot here on a bank. Unfortunately, there's not a great deal of water in the, in the river, but we've put the swag out, the gazebo's up, chance of a shower tonight. We're just kicking back now before it's dinner, or before it rains on us, one of the two. A nice cold beer and a packet of chips. Not much a better way to finish the day, if you ask me. What do you reckon, Miz? Yep, agreed, definitely. Just come down for a uh, bit of a walk from camp, and we found the Mary River. And even though it's not real high here at the moment, the water is crystal clear and it's warm as. So I think I might come down for a tub later. Should be nice. How is it? <laughs> okay, so it was a little bit slimier than I thought it might have been. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of slime with your nighttime tub. <laughs> there is lots of slime. <laughs> I think I'm dirtier now than what I was when I went in. How 
with that, Ernie. Yep. She doesn't care for the slime either. Okay, what's a four wheel drive show without a cooking show? Well, we've got Matt's cooking show tonight, but Matt does things very, very basic. Matt likes meat. There won't be any vegetarian meals when you come camping with me. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna cut our steaks up. There's more than what a pair of us both need, but have it cold tomorrow if we don't fill up on that kilo donut in a kind of worth. So it's pretty simple. Cut our meat up, salt, pepper, black sauce, Worcestershire sauce, whatever you want to call it. That's all you need for a good steak. So we're just gonna put a bit of the salt and pepper in here for seasoning. We've got our water boiling here. We've got our vegetables, they're ready to go. So we're just gonna put our steaks in, a bit more salt, a bit more pepper. We'll put a bit more on it when we put it in the pan. We'll just leave that to sit, come to room temperature, let meat relax before we put it in the pan. Broccolini, We've got to cut the carrots. I'm pretty rough when it comes to cooking. Um, just ask my sister. We're out in the bush. Well, boiling water, we'll put those in there. If I was at home, I'd have a steamer. But we don't have a steamer, so we're just gonna give those a couple of minutes in there. We're gonna add our broccolini. We've also got some broccoli. And we've got some beans. And just like pretty much everything else today, <laughs> there's something gone wrong, and the old fridge has gone a little bit colder than what it should have. and. Uh, the beans are frozen. I don't know why the beans out of everything got frozen. There was a there was a few icicles on the broccolini, but anyway, we'll just let those sit, we'll let that sit. We'll put that in the bin. Carrots are boiling away, and uh, we'll be back shortly, and there'll be more. So welcome back from the ad break. Carrots have been going for a couple of minutes now, so uh, the greens are about to go in. Thing is, when we're cooking out in the bush, we only have the one little gas cooker. So we've got to do things a little bit differently, obviously, than what you would at home. So everything's going to go in there now. We've just got to try and, oh, that one didn't quite fit, so we'll have to cut a bit of the stalks off those ones. That's okay. They can go in there. I'm going to put our lid on. I'm going to steam that for a couple of minutes. And thankfully, we, uh, we like our steaks pretty medium, medium rare. So it doesn't take long. So that'll just sit in there. That'll steam away for a couple of minutes. And we'll cook the steaks up and then it'll be all good to go at the one time. So you've got to make do with what you got out in the bush. Okay, so we've had some dramas with the camera. We've had to swap over to the iPhone now. The GoPro just shit itself. So we are back cooking. These are now probably overdone. But things are, uh, yeah, they're not looking too bad at all. So the veggies are good. So we're going to take the veggies off. And they're just going to sit off to the side there. Put the pan on. Move those out of the way so we don't want to burn them. A little bit of olive oil, and then we're going to get our steaks in there. Excuse my back. I'm sure. Oh, the tongs. That's what I wanted. I already had them out. Good stuff. Seasoning, you can't have enough. And it's sizzling. Put those steaks in. Cut them in the side of the side. A mate of mine once told me for the perfect medium steak. Three minutes on the first side, two minutes on the second. I haven't got a stopwatch, so I'll just count to 60. I'm not too sure whether he's done the three and the two or not, but it's just started to sprinkle rain on us, so better time than any to have dinner. So, and let's get these steaks out. I've got the big one. Mez has got the medium one. We've got a couple left over there for tomorrow. Now to the veggies. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We've got the provolone. These are just falling apart. They're just so well cooked. The broccolini, the bits at the top looked well, well cooked. Bits at the bottom, probably a little bit overdone. But anyway, get the beans, the frozen beans. Ernie's already been fed, but she'll probably be searching around for a little bit of ours, but she won't get it. 
That's looking pretty good. Piece of resistance. Worcestershire sauce. Cheers, Dad. I don't know whether you know, and you probably don't, but it took me about 16 years to get Mez to indulge in the old Hob Rocks Worcestershire sauce, and now she can't get enough of it. So, bon appetit. Dig in. Hope you enjoy. That's yours. And uh, we're going to uh, have ourselves a glass of red wine as well with dinner because we are pretty fancy here. Um, Taylor's, Merlot. The only reason why Mez bought this today was as her name's Taylor and it had a pretty label. Pretty much. And to go with the class, <laughs> we've got our enamel, cup. enamel cups. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Bit of fine dining. Cheers. Enjoy. We're just going to go head over to the banks of the Mary River and enjoy our dinner. Catch you later. Well, that's it, guys. The end of our very first episode. We really hope you enjoyed it, and we would love for you all to join in next time as we continue on our trip through the Sunshine Coast hinterland. We visit Kenilworth and indulge in a donut. Mez tackles the tracks of Imbal State Forest. How was that? That was awesome. Got a little bit sideways there. Yeah, we did a little bit sideways. We have a standoff with a cow. And accidentally turn on the GoPro before ending the day at the side of the Gimpy Music Muster. And remember to stay up to date with all of our latest adventures. Hit that subscribe button and follow us on Instagram. Until next time, remember, more dirt, less bitumen. Cheers.